Thank you so much for checking out Tea and a Butty on YouTube. For exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron. Details are in the link of this video's description, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hello, and welcome to the Tea and a Buddy podcast. I'm Dominic. And I'm Erica. Today's episode is going to be mainly me ranting about Hershey. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically talking about Hershey and, by extension, America me American media kind of treating its audience like a, you know, like their children, basically, and, <laughs> you know, can't decide for themselves why you can't find real Cadbury in stores. Well, and all their different varieties. Yeah. Because you can find, like, dairy milk, fruit and nut, and caramel, caramel ones. That are made by Hershey. Because it goes back to, like, years ago when Cadbury were trying to break into the American market. They did a deal with Hershey, who was the, the you know, the, the big the big cheese at the time, and still is, I guess. Yeah. Um, And they said, okay, we'll sell you the rights to make Cadbury in the U.S. Yeah. And they said, okay. And they kind of just made it and just kind of didn't promote it over Hershey or anything like that. They didn't give them an equal share of the market. They just made it and to their recipe. Yeah. And, you know, just kind of like buried I mean, how it. Long and ago, how long ago I think was that, that was that like, it? I think that was in the maybe late 70s or early oh, 80s. Oh, really? That long ago? Yeah. Yeah, because um, growing up, the only thing i ever knew from cadbury was the cream eggs the cream eggs. yeah and that's that's something that they could market on at easter yeah you know and, and, then, and to me uh, it, to me it seemed like they were they had cream eggs all year round in britain but now that i'm thinking about it it's probably just an overflow it was probably just stuff they couldn't get rid of in the shops you know like corner shops had like stuff stacks and stacks of cream eggs you know yeah. ready for the easter season and then just like you know we're just like oh yeah you can have them have them year round because i mean it's chocolate you know it yeah. doesn't have to just be for easter yeah but over here they kind of withdraw them don't they and throw them away i guess or i mean i guess they only have a limited amount that they maybe that yeah they... maybe that's what it is i would have said import but i guess they, they make no they them make here. them here yeah they, yeah they they make the cadbury's that you know that you Generally, the Cadbury's that you buy in the store is made by Hershey. I think they've got it down to like a fine science. Like they know approximately how many they sell every Easter. Yeah, so and they just, just go, like, okay, we'll make that much. And if people want more, sod them. Yeah. When, when it's you know, gone, it's gone. It's you gone. Know? And, you know, well, I think in the UK, there's there's definitely a demand for Cadbury's cream eggs. So they just keep making them. But I never just knew kind of anything like, more about Cadbury than the cream eggs. Like, I didn't know about all this dairy milk other and stuff. Had, well, the yeah. chocolate wars apparently started when Hershey dis noticed that sales of Cadbury imports were up to a notable degree and decided, well, we're just going to um, sue these um, importers. You know, let's mm. buy British and um, I think it was... Uh, another one i think let's buy british they sold because the other the other one didn't respond to them so they won that suit by default yeah so but let's buy british were just like what you know we're just we're just selling it here you know and they're like no we make cadbury over here we get to sell it you know yeah. you don't sell that stuff mm. and so they just went on like a rampage and kind of a bit psychotically really <laughs> you know because apparently they've um in the when in the suit and everything, they started saying that um, no, you can't sell Yorkie bars, which are made by Nestle. You can't import any British chocolate from, you know, you know that's from from Britain. Yeah. Because it, we can't sell Yorkie bars over here, which are just like a, a Nestle chocolate uh, bar. Yeah. Because it's too much like York peppermint patties. Oh. And it's like if you look at both of them, it's like. And they're not even the same thing. York peppermint patty is made of mint. York Yorkie is a chocolate bar. It's just but chocolate. The names York. But again, know. that's the thing. It's like, can people not tell the difference? I mean, you look you <clears throat> look at it like, oh, are they're trying to say that the American public is stupid? But 
and and that the may, packaging and that may isn't be... even isn't even similar. York peppermint patties it's are a... round. It's a, right, and and a Yorkie bar is, lo- and, you know, long and I, I can kind of see with the the next one. The that next being said, though, ex- I mean, I have known plenty of people over time who have gone into stores to grab things. You know, husbands in particular are notorious for stupid it. husbands. Go, go, you know, run in and get me whatever, and they, and they grab something else because the well, name that's just the them. name looks the same they're they're not taking the time to that's, just, that's you know they're right next to each other maybe and this one's called york and this one's called yorkie and uh, same thing uh, just get one you know yeah but i mean that's that's got to be like a very small percentage probably, of people yeah probably really but you know it's like going to you know but let's go back to um, British people who we've seen many times um, looking at the packaging of those Lay stackables chips crisps for yeah. our British audience on YouTube. Let's say. oh yeah yeah and they're and they're all going this looks like detergent oh why would you wanna... because it's a similar colored bottle though yeah but are you gonna really pick that up in the crisps aisle and go. Why have they put detergent yes. in the crisp style? It was a bottle of bleach. It was yeah. It was like Domestos yeah. oh, or something. Why yeah. would they want? Why would they want to make it in something that looks like this? It's like it's kind of it's kind of like that. But Yorkie and York peppermint patties look different anyway. It's just the, the similar. I know, but name. those are going to be in the same section at least. Yes. You know, whereas the no, detergent it's definitely and, Hershey. The, and the crisps are not going to be anywhere in the same it's area. It's definitely of the store. Hershey protecting itself. Yeah. Someone in a in a comment said something. Oh yeah, this is Hershey definitely knowing that they're trying to like completely eradicate European chocolate because it's better than uh, what they're selling. <laughs> and I mean, because th- you know, I will give it to Hershey. They've they're slowly starting to create stuff that's edible. Hershey makes a lot of good candy, just not their particular chocolate bar. Yeah. <laughs> their, their Hershey's plain milk the chocolate Hers- is Hershey's not Hershey's plain milk chocolate is just like, why? Yeah. That is like, the, the, the it's it's the very cheapy chocolate taste. It's like, I, that's what somebody said, you know, never mind the vomit aftertaste or whatever it gives you. Like, it's, <laughs> you know, it's like, someone said, it tastes like cheap chocolate. It tastes like... It doesn't taste like a brand name candy bar, yeah. you know, brand name chocolate bar. It yeah. tastes like Tesco value, you know, mm. chocolate. That's something that was made with like very little sugar, and it's just like wah wah, you yeah. know, something that was you you know you know when you when you have a Cadbury and you've done it. Yeah. We bought a Cadbury once, and I think it was like from that box that my sister sent me. I think it was like a bar of Cadbury, and you were eating, you were just like a. Oh man, there's, there is nothing like Cadbury, is there? There is no. Oh, it's so good. Why? It's so good. Yeah, I mean Cadbury is really good, but I think Dove chocolate is really. Oh, good. Oh yeah, no, Dove is really good, but that's Galaxy. That's known as Galaxy in the um, UK. We were getting some kind of German chocolate bars Milka. for a while when they were Milka. no no. Showing Sh- Garden, Showing Garden, or something. Yeah. I think, I think they were either really German good. or Swiss. Yeah, I think they were German, actually. Um, my niece and nephew had a YouTube channel for a while where they European were trying... European chocolate, mate. They were trying all these different candies and things from around the world, and and so we got to try them, too. And, and a lot of them were really good. It's just Hershey's is not great. Hershey's is it's pretty terrible when all you think about it. All the rest are pretty equivalent it's, to it's, me. You know, I mean... They, they they make like this Hershey special dark, which I guess is okay. I haven't tried it. Hershey's cookies and cream. It isn't chocolate. It's a pastille. So they call it pastille. Uh, I'm not that white sure. chocolate yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, that's well, good. White chocolate is not chocolate. Yeah. Um, made with cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They call it a pastille. I think yeah. instead of calling it white chocolate because it's like, oh, it's not chocolate. You can't call it chocolate yeah, if it's not yeah, chocolate. Yeah. If it doesn't come from the cocoa bean. Um. And there was there was another thing. There, there was like things that they had mint in, and they had like a cookie crunch or something. Oh yeah, and the caramel the Hershey layers. Or yeah, something. no, those were those were good. Mm-hmm. I will admit. Yeah, and I think I've had cho- Hershey chocolate covered pretzels, milk chocolate, and the Hershey salt gold. 
Was it Hershey Gold? Yeah. Yeah. That's got the pretzels in it. Oh, no. Yeah, that's... yeah, yeah no, that's good as well. But that's, again, that's, that's a pasta. That's white well. chocolate yeah. again. Um, but Hershey's chocolate covered pretzels I've had too. Uh, Snyder's and they were Snyder's, but Hershey, oh, yeah. Hershey with made with Hershey chocolate. Mm-hmm. They were good. I guess that's because the pretzel's salty and it kind of takes away from the taste. But yeah. Hershey's dark chocolate is good. Hershey, I'm not a big dark chocolate Hershey fan. Hershey chocolate with almonds. I don't know. Maybe that's dark chocolate. It's been a long time since I've had that. But I don't remember that being bad either. It's just the milk chocolate it's is just not good. Cho- and, and it's what, whatever the... It's like that. Um, it's a special recipe. <laughs> it's, their ac- it's their acidy milk. It's like who in history ever thought that that, that tastes like vomit. good? <laughs> well, again, you know, it's like when you talk to Americans, it's like, how can you eat this stuff? And, you know, there's a lot of, like, uh, everybody from around the world go, oh, how can you eat this stuff? It's yeah. disgusting. It's not just British people who say it. It's it's everybody from I mean, the I've EU, s- everyone. I mean, I've said before in this podcast that growing up, I thought I didn't like chocolate. Because and there's a lot of people like who don't like chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, because Hershey's chocolate was the only chocolate. Hershey's chocolate or, like, the cheap generic chocolate that you get, like, <sighs> packs yeah. of can you know, mixed packs of candy. Um I guess were the only chocolates I was really ever exposed to. And so I was like, oh, I don't like chocolate. That being said, I've always liked like Snickers or... Snickers is good. That's made by Reese's Mars. Reese's Peanut Butter yeah. Cups or... Reese's, um, again, That's a, I think that's a Hershey company now. Which yeah. brings me to my next point, funnily enough. Yeah. Uh, Hershey wanted to ban Toffee Crisps. Oh, Which yeah. are made by Nestle, I think, um, in the UK. Yeah. And I can kind of see why, because they look similar to a Hershey, um, to a Reese's peanut butter cup packaging. I mean, the color of the packaging Orange, is exactly. Almost exactly. And the writing, even. Mm. It's a yellow writing, too. But when you think about it, it's a chocolate bar again. And Reese's is... Oh, they do all kinds of chocolate bars now, though. Oh, that's... that. Yeah, they do something that's almost similar to a Toffee Crisp now, Reese's, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got caramel, it's got crispy bits in it, and it's got peanut butter in it. I thought a Toffee Crisp was a bit like um, a Heath bar or a Dunbar. No, it's uh, crispy riced crisps with caramel, and it's chewy Mm. caramel, and it's enrobed in chocolate. It's so good. No, I think Reese's, the bars that they have, have Reese's Pieces in them. Reese's Pieces, I haven't had them, I don't know. But again, that's peanut butter. But they do have bars. Whatever, yeah. whatever they yeah, are. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so that's that's. Like... I can kind of see why they're like, oh no, we can't, we're enforcing our license. We don't want anyone to not buy this, and it's just like, well, do a deal with Nestle then, so you can distribute Toffee Crisps. Yeah, because Toffee Crisps are good, and yeah. you know, I mean, surely they could just repackage for the American market. Yeah, that's true. They can repackage. I mean, they 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 had to do that with like I think Mars bars. They well, had to call them Milky Way over well, here. Well, and you guys called Starbursts. We used to no 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 we used to and then we joined the EU <laughs> and they and the EU were calling them Starburst yeah and so we just changed the name to Star from Opal Fruits to Starburst you know it was just like it's happening get over it that's that that's pretty much how a name change happens but was the in pack- did the packaging look exactly the same though? yeah it just had a different name yeah yeah I mean you know it's kind of like people my age they must look back and go wait a minute didn't Snickers used to be called a marathon bar, and because it, it was, yeah. Um, and there's that joke from Father Ted where you know, like they're reading through like a, a religious kind of like um, history thing. Dougal, Dougal's reading it. He goes, "Oh, a marathon becomes Snickers," you know, because it's like such a big. Okay, everybody so, laughed, you know. But so let's think about this then, because you guys have Toffee Crisp. Like, can you find Toffee Toffee Crisp? Like at the checkout in Britain? Yeah. I can't remember. Yep. Okay, but would you... Are there also Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Oh, the... that's true. They're starting to, they're starting to um, sell those in the UK now. I think they're starting to sell Hershey's yeah, in the UK. Yeah, but what I'm saying is do like, they keep it separate or do they worry about the same thing in Britain? I don't think they do because Toffee Crisps... You know, the, the problem yeah, yeah, with but the... but it inter- doesn't... But it doesn't matter. I mean, you get... <clears throat> all it takes is for someone to just, like... <clears throat> to go, oh, I want a Toffee Crisp. 
and just reach for the wrong thing. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't mean they're stupid. Yeah. It's just like that can no, just no, happen, no, no, especially yeah, if the colors are the, the, the so thing similar. Is, it's the it's the it's the apathy in Britain and in America. You know, like if someone did that with a York peppermint paddy, and uh, they just wouldn't care, and they wouldn't complain about it. I don't think they'd just be like, eh. But in Britain, if someone reaches for a Reese's peanut butter bar instead of a toffee crisp and they wanted toffee crisp oh it, there'll be a forum about it they'll write to offcom <laughs> they'll, they'll they'll be on to every they'll, they'll be on to watchdog about this i'm gonna write to watchdog about this because you know if you've seen vloggers on if they get anything wrong about the uk <laughs> yeah. they get a ton of british people in the comments yeah. correcting them yeah saying that's not right you've got to correct this you've got to say sorry and da, da, da. yeah so in britain it's kind of like they know the mentality of the british people they know okay we're not going to put a reese's peanut butter bar next to toffee crisp because we know if someone gets that wrong they'll there'll be an outcry you know mm. So whereas over here they know that the companies know it wouldn't there wouldn't be an outcry and they just lose money and no one would complain about it, you know. Yeah. Um, so they just enforce it straight away. I don't know what the 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 chocolate climate in the UK is like now. <laughs> the chocolate climate. It's ever changing. <laughs> The chocolate climate, they're always coming out with something new. <laughs> the chocolate We do climate. love our chocolate in the UK. I mean, they, they, they're always continually Cadbury are looking for like, oh, what can we meld a dairy milk bar with now? Oreo, maybe we can do, we can ma- meld it with a dime bar. Maybe we can meld it with some hobnobs, you know? Yeah. It's that kind of thing, you know? Whereas over here, they're just kind of like trotting out the same thing. And it's, I don't know. I just thought America would be more snack people. <laughs> you know, chocolate people. But maybe Hershey's has made them not so chocolate people. Yeah, I do you know. know. But yeah, it's just, you know, that the, they took legal action and then the American buying public, you know, because Tea and Sympathy kind of like got in on it then. that That's a, a thing, um, a shop in New York. Mm. And we're like, can you believe it? You know, what are they doing? You know? And it's just kind of like the, the American public were like, oh, what's going on? You know, what's all this about? We never knew about this because, you know, Hershey kind of kept it quiet and, you know, it wasn't like a big thing. And, you know, this is what Hershey didn't want the American public to see, that they were just enforcing all these bans on imported chocolate everywhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Tea and Sympathy, they posted something on their Facebook saying, oh, due to legal action by the so-called chocolate maker Hershey's, we can no longer import the real Cadbury chocolate from England. so-called chocolate maker. Yes, they were really salty about this. Unbelievable. From England. In addition to banning the good Cadbury, they've also banned Yorkie bars because they stated that people might confuse them with York peppermint patties. As if... (sighs) To add insult to injury, they have also banned Toffee Crisp because they contended that the packaging was too similar to Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. May we politely suggest that if you think Toffee Crisps look like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, your eyesight is a much bigger problem than your chocolate bar confusion. I mean... And Snopes noted, Yorkies are not paddy-shaped, nor are they even mint, and though the packaging colours of Toffee Crisps are similar to Reese's Cups, the crisps aren't cup-shaped like Reese's Peanut Butter Morsels. Which... You know, it's it's when you when you get down to the nitty gritty of it, it is like what what is what are you on, Hershey? <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. what are you doing? It's like it's very obvious. Like mm. this is something that you're worried about. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, because Hershey's been uh, how old is Hershey? Oh, I don't know. I think it's. It's not as old as Cadbury, but I think it's. It's been a. It's, it's been, been around. around. It's. it's, it's, it's <laughs> not it's, sure. It's established. It's like. I don't think the American public like with Maltesers. They've been released over here now. Mm. Um, I don't see who. I don't know if Hershey create. I don't think it was who, whoever creates malted milk balls. What are they call milk duds. Yeah. Are they the same thing? Malted mal- milk. No, no, no. Malted milk balls are like wa- are like Whoppers. That's the that, Whoppers. That's yeah. that's the name of them. Whoppers. Yeah. Uh, Whopp- you don't see Whoppers going, oh, they're too yeah. similar. They they have a case there, you know? Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> they're better and they're similar because Whoppers are like very dense 
dense version of a Maltese. A Maltese is much better because it's much lighter and the chocolate is nice. It's not much better. They're, they're it different. is. I mean, I'm they're biased, yes, me. but I think that they are different, but they look the same. I like the crunch of the Whopper. There's, they're quite more crunchy. Whereas I like Mal- a crunchy too. That's a Cadbury Mal- bar too. <laughs> where the Maltesers are a bit softer, you know, they're easier to... They're easier to crunch, you know. They, they're crunchy, but they're not yeah. as crunchy as a Whopper. Whoppers are bigger. You can suck on them. They last a little bit longer. Uh, but multi, what, you think Maltesers and Whoppers are, are that different? Um, I mean, they are, but they're not, you know. They are, but they're not. They look the same. They're kind of the same could have, they've got like a, a honeycomb. It's I, not honeycomb, is it? What is it? It's like, yeah, I think it's the like Maltesers a honey- are sweeter. They have a sweeter inside whereas the whoppers are a bit more just like milky frothy if that doesn't sound yeah you know, yeah they're like they're lighter sounds, but and they they released them over here to you know and they even had like billboards in austin oh yeah like unlike the austin he you know these will keep you good and it's like they, they really tried to like market them over here yeah i don't know i wouldn't I'm and I have a feeling, I guess they must doing. have bought out Whoppers or something, because I, I think it's Mars who makes Maltesers, the Mars company. And Mars make uh, Snickers, and they make Milky Way over here. And I think they make Milky Way in Britain too, but Milky Way, the Milky Way bar's different because it's more like a, a, um, like a soft white. It's more like a Three Musketeers. Bar. I mean, you know, we've done we've done a chocolate episode in the past if you guys have not heard that if you if you're new yeah we've talked about here, all this before really if but you're you know new it's... around here go back and look for that episode i think it was probably about a year ago um if you have heard that episode then you'll know that i didn't really grow up with as much candy as dominic <laughs> so i'm not really the right person to ask about all of these like obviously i've had a three musketeers bar i've had a milky way but i have not eaten enough of them in my life to like be able to think be a off connoisseur the top of my, to be able to think off the top of my head which is which and yeah which is similar to what in britain and you know i mean i've tried a lot of candy in britain i've tried a lot of candy over here but i don't eat it frequently enough to be like yeah really it's funny pre- because i know what um, a snickers is you know like i've eaten yeah. i've eaten, i've eaten a lot of snickers <laughs> because eaten a lot of snickers in my time and i know a snickers yeah but like everything else is like ah eh, you know i've I've had some, you know, the British candy's good, the American candy's good. I don't really care. <laughs> yes. I've once bought, I, when we went back to Britain for our first time since being married, um, I bought a bar of Cadbury Dairy Milk and a bar of Cadbury Caramel, which is like a Cadbury Caramello, but, you know, it's the same thing, really. Um, And I left them on my thing, and I went downstairs to do something or whatever, and I came back up, and you were just like... I had to break into the chocolate because I was I, I was, was very, hungry. I was hungry. <laughs> it was calling my name. Um, <laughs> I will cool. say, I would rather have a Cadbury Dairy Milk bar over a Hershey's bar, but I would rather have a York peppermint patty over a Yorkie. You don't, yeah. You don't like you, you, that's something in Britain. It's like we have a lot of chocolate chocolate bars. You know, like Yorkie bars and it's just chocolate, isn't it? There's nothing inside. There's nothing anything. inside. It's just a block of chocolate. And yeah. I mean, there was controversy over the Yorkie bar because for years and I think during the 90s uh, they they marketed it as not for girls you know and they had adverts that is so crin- cringy like who came up with it's that not for girls it's a man's bar and, and even on the packaging they had not for girls and they had like you know the the, the woman uh, toilet sign you know yeah. like the woman toilet cartoon mm-hmm. with a with a thing through it Nobody really complained about it at the time. It was only kind of like years later that they'd started to go, hey, wait a minute, that's not that's not nice. Yeah. Because they had adverts where a woman was dressing up as a man to try and get a Yorkie bar. I mean, it was supposed and, to be funny, I guess. You and know, it was like... very sexist. It was very, like, stereotypically sexist, you know? Yeah. And I don't think they realized it. I think they might have been doing it as a joke, but, you yeah. know, it caught on, you know? It was supposed to be like... Then, girls can't have this, nah. Yeah, yeah, so, oh, boys wanted it even more, and then girls probably wanted it because, oh, it's supposed to be not for them, I guess, is Maybe. the idea. But, um... That's what they try to make it, like, you know... It's, just, like, weird and 
it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a weird advert, you know. It's weird. It's boring. Um, I'd rather have a York peppermint patty any day. The toffee crisp. I don't know if I've tried a. You love crisp. double deckers. I don't know if I've tried a toffee toffee crisp, but I'm not a huge fan of crispy crispies like um, Nestle Crunch. And crispies and caramel, man. Not particularly fussed about a yeah, maniac crunch, about a Nestle <laughs> Crunch bar. You're absolutely you know? maniac. Um, yeah. So I'd probably rather have a Reese's. Reese's peanut butter over that. You uh, know? Yeah. It's like, just live and let live. <laughs> live and let die. <laughs> live and let die. Um, it's so funny how heated people get over chocolate. Oh, God. <laughs> like... The thing is, my dad, it was mostly me and my dad, you know, my dad raised me. He was never a big chocolate fan. He was not into candy like I am. He hated sugar, really. You know, he didn't really like it. He was very old school in that respect. You know, because a lot of the older generation, they only like mint humbugs and whatever, you know, like the boring. I mean, like, I I was very much like Roald Dahl in respect because he loved chocolate. He was like, oh, it's when the chocolate was invented. We don't care about kings or queens. It's when the chocolate was invented. I think there's like research that says that men oftentimes have more of like savory taste yeah. buds than women and women have. are oh i love my chocolate women have more sweet taste buds now of course that's not going to be true for everybody but i think there is some sort of research behind that yeah. that that is common so i don't think it's uncommon for a man like your dad to just be like eh, mm. candy you know, candy. candy chocolate kid eh. stuff in it um i like sweets i'm just not that big on candy because i just didn't you grow you, up, like, you didn't grow it you all didn't the grow. time, yeah. Like um, you know, put a cookie in front of me and double du- double decker bars a bit of me. It's a bit of me. Oh God, <laughs> it's a bit of me. That is. Um, no, it's I, I. You know, it's like as I said, I just grew up going into shops and going, "Ooh, that looks good." You know, "Ooh, I'll have some of that." You know, yeah. Um, you didn't. No. You know, I mean, but you, you said your mother liked chocolate yeah and candy she's and... a big she's a big candy holic but uh she, she didn't the, raise me and, and my brother that way yeah, yeah so i don't I, he's not really that big on candy yeah. either i don't think you know because um i mean i like crisps didn't too develop, like i like i like junk food period yeah you know? you're, you're terrible for the junk food <laughs> terrible for the oh he's terrible for the junk food he is <laughs> it's terrible for the junk he is but you know so it's kind of like i guess my mother i think my mother liked chocolate you know, so I guess that's maybe where I get it from, you know. Yeah. My mother liked Thorntons and all that, you know, and like fancy Belgian chocolates. Belgian chocolate, now that's a good stuff. I just, if you are listening and you're American and you're a big, like, chocolate connoisseur, candy connoisseur, let me know if you have any idea whatsoever which companies make which chocolate bars. Yeah, because you just see a brand and you go, oh, I don't know who makes that. Yeah, and I don't think I there's any interest in knowing who makes it for most people. It's you like know somebody I mean? who makes, who who maybe looks at, like, say, a laptop and go, oh, it's just a laptop. I don't know who makes it. I don't care. It's just a laptop. It I don't know. If a, I don't know if a laptop is a good thing because people are particular about their computers. But like people are particular a, you, about their candy. You've got a mug of coffee there. Like who makes that mug? You know. Oh, I like the design of it. I like the way it. Laurie looks. Gates makes this mug, <laughs> and I only drink. No, honestly, we were just talking about this the other night. Um, Le Creuset is our new favorite now. Because we've <laughs> well, got some... your new favorite. I don't you find it any love different. Than... Le Creuset. It's like honestly, are there any Le Creuset fans out there? Because <laughs> it, it is good. It is really good. Le Creuset. Yes. I like their mugs. Sponsor us, Le Creuset. <laughs> yes. Give us. Give us a cookware set. You know, it's like we know you're a pretty small company, and no one really likes you. So you, you yeah, know, it's just we're the ones. You know, it's funny. Like. um... It's funny doing these podcasts. We're, we're, we start bit, talking here's, about here's a bit of real talk for you. <laughs> yeah, because all up pod- until now has just been fake talk, doing hasn't these it? Podcasts or something like that. You know, obviously, um, we do these like in our spare time, but we would ideally like to turn this into our job. This or you know, 
go into making YouTube videos or something like that. Because all we can say is God help you if we go full time on this. Because we en- we because we enjoy doing it and we like talking to you guys and we like getting feedback and we just like the whole process of it. Um, yeah, we do. We love it. But obviously, if you're going to make this a career, you have to make money off of it, which at the moment we're not making any money if we're being Except real. in our patrons and we're very grateful yes, for that. So we thank are. you very much. We are. Thank you. Yes, we appreciate our patrons. We appreciate, we appreciate everything all of you that listening. you can give. We appreciate all of you listening because, you know, we couldn't we couldn't keep doing this if no one was Our listening. audience size is steadily growing and, yeah. we're, and we're thankful for that. But anyway, part of part of trying to make this a career is like you want to get deals obviously. And I know that's not always great for you guys as an audience because it 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 means that you have to listen to a bit of advertising or something like that, right? But we would not we would never just so you all know, we would never um force a company on you guys that we did not like just because we were making money off of it. Yeah, no, if if I don't know. I can't think of a company that well, I don't I don't particularly agree with or like at the moment. That, I mean, oh, well. And and they, they, if they came to us and offered us a load of money, we probably would say no. Oh, not just offhand, no. I mean, yeah. you know. But we wouldn't force them on you because it's only something that we like. Like, we are going to force Cadbury on you because we like it. You know? <laughs> no, but no, but like Dominic talking about Lake Crusade just then, it did cross my mind. Now, do I want to be honest or do I want to go, oh, yes, we love Lake Crusade? Not that I do not like Lake Crusade. I mean, because obviously I love it, but I don't care. <laughs> I do care. Their mugs are absolutely divine. I don't find. I like the style of the mugs. I like the design. Um, the design. They they can. But as they far wash as... really well. <laughs> the the liquid coming out just comes slides <laughs> out. Being on. Yes, he said that to me. Don't you find the tea? Don't you? You know, we're using the. No, the... no, no. We're using the mugs for the first time, and he goes. Oh, I really like these mugs. You know, I just find that the tea just slides right out. It just slides out so easily. It's I'm like, does. what are you it's talking about? You know, you buy a cheap mug from, I don't know, like Five Below or something, you know, like a cheap, like <laughs> tacky mug, right? And you're drinking it and it's just like, mm, you know, it's just like, it's kind of like hard. You have to really like go, Le Creuset. Le Creuset, it's just know. kind of like, it just, <laughs> it's just like, it just comes out of the mug. So oh well, they've designed that mug to perfection. So I applaud you. I applaud you, Le Creuset. <laughs> anyway, so when he says something like that, and he means it, he 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 does mean it. Like yeah. I just said to you, he said, "Don't you find that this tea really slides out easily?" <laughs> Whatever that means. And I'm just like, but I am someone who, you know. Unless it's like something that's obviously falling apart, in which case it's like you're going to have to constantly be buying them. I'm not someone who enjoys investing a lot of money in anything. So, you know, it's a nice mug. The Le Creuset mugs are nice. bloody good mug. I like them. I I do not not like them. You know what I mean? But it looks cute as well. Look at the colors. But I don't find there to be much difference between them... Or any other mug. I I personally do not find that the tea slides out more easily out of the I'm sorry, Lori Gates. This is a nice mug. It's a big one, right? I don't know how this got on to talking about mugs. <laughs> but um, it's just... It's, it's the it's, content it's a nice you can one. come it's, to expect from us. Yes. And, you know, it's like a big mug. And it's good for coffee. But if Le Creuset made it, it'd be even better. <laughs> because they'd have, like, some sort of design feature that made the coffee slide out easier. I don't know. All we have... When I, when I all, went to drink. All we have are the mugs so far. So, you know, we'll let you know if we if we venture into any of any of the other um, range of, I don't know, cookware, kitchenware. There you go. Le Creuset um, should make chocolate. But, yeah. yes... If Le Creuset would like to sponsor us, then, you know, we'll try it. Yeah, we'll this has become a Le Creuset their, thing. We'll try out all their a products. A Le Crusade. <laughs> and we'll let you know, you know, because you can count on us to be honest. You can count on me to be honest about, um, you know, whatever we're trying out. And I'll let you know. I'll give you the real deal. For British people, it's Le Creuset. The, <laughs> yes. The four one one is that what they say? The four one one. The download. The, the DL. download. 
On the download. On the DL. <laughs> the load of the down. Oh my god. Okay, we got. Okay, go. we've got to go. Um, we so have rambled chocolate on. Chocolate. Chocolate. Is that mugs. what we're talking? Chocolate and mugs. A mug the of end. hot chocolate. <laughs> the end. Thank you as always for listening. <laughs> I'm so sorry that we like completely go off the rails sometimes but it's our know. podcast if we were going on we were guesting on someone else's podcast and we just started talking about mugs you and know stuff, we would you know they'd that get that very would, annoyed and they'd be like this is going to be terrible editing experience <laughs> and i'm not going to edit any of this out so. that, would, that would completely happen anyway um yeah so bye 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 everybody <laughs> Thanks so much for listening. As always, we appreciate you tuning in and we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.